Hey friends, welcome to Positive Power with your host Michelle Dion. Thanks for joining me for another week. I hope you're inspired and uplifted from this series of videos that we've been putting together for you. So this week I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the same sort of stuff we talked about last week. We were talking about personal blocks and how we're raised growing up, you know, thinking that we're not worthy of obtaining different things that we want, you know, and there's so many things like just little sayings that we hear growing up that block us from obtaining abundance. And one of the good tools for helping you get through that is vision boards. And I know that's not a, good, a new concept. Vision boards have been around forever. And if you follow anybody famous, they all talk about it in one way or another about surrounding themselves with an environment of success. And you can do that a, a few different ways. You know, if you're a crafty person, get some magazines, print some pictures out, do a big Bristol board, you know, and, and put all the stuff that you want on there. And, and you can do that, or you can do it on a smaller scale and even just stick pictures of different things that you want and inspirational sayings and words. Stick it on your fridge, get some magnets. How many times do you go to the fridge in the day? You go a lot, we all do, right? Um, so if you do that and you just put it up there, but it's all about the words and the pictures. So pick some words that are inspirational to you or that make you feel good. So for me, for example, words I would use would be believe, love, peace, um, one love. Those are all the things that, I, that I'm into. I'm caring, kindness, random acts of kindness. Um, when I start thinking, right, see how fast it starts to come to you. Then put some pictures of things that you already love that make you feel good. So for me, it would be my kids, my grandchildren, my partner, um, my home, my business, maybe me on my radio show, maybe me leading a group doing motivational speaking. Those are all things that make me feel good and they're already things that I've already manifested or acquired into my life, right? I decided a few years ago with zero experience that I was going to be a motivational speaker and here I sit now right in front of you. It's come to fruition, right? Last summer I decided that I wanted to have a gazebo in my backyard and a couple other things that I wanted. I have that stuff now and it was for a price that I determined that I already wanted to pay. This is the law of attraction at its best, right? So put that stuff into your vision board or vision book or put it on your fridge or maybe around your work area. And then the next step is, because um, we've got the words, we've got what you've already got, so now let's add in what you want. What is it that you want in 2017? Do you want a better relationship? Do you want a relationship, period? Maybe you're not in a relationship and that's what you want. Do you want to start traveling more? Do you want a better vehicle? Maybe you don't have a vehicle. Do you want a vehicle? Do you want better relationships? Whatever it is that you want in your life, now add those pictures. Add those pictures, the dream home. Is that what it is? Go through a real estate paper. Find some houses that are similar to what you would like. It's not gonna be exact, right? If it's love that you want, you're not gonna go and, and pick out a picture of the guy that you want the relationship with but maybe find some pictures of two people walking down a beach holding hands. Like what does love represent to you, right? Maybe it's a business you want. Is it money you want? Print out some pictures of some money. Um, go to a toy section of a store, get some toy money. Put that on your vision board or on your fridge or wherever it is you're putting your stuff. And so when you have the emotion and you have the visualization, the law of attraction, which never fails, has no option but to draw it to you. And you know the law of attraction is no different than the law of gravity. I can hold this pen up right now and no matter what, it's going to drop, right? It's the law of gravity. So if you look into the law of attraction, it's the same thing. If you complain about debt and you complain about bills and you complain about stuff going on in the world that you can't control, then you are just going to drag a whole bunch of drama back to you. And that's not what you want. And that's not what we want for you. And that is not your, your destiny. Our destiny was not to struggle. Our destiny was not to go without. Our destiny is to have abundance. It is the world around us that has created all this struggle. And the world within, you know, if you start your changes within, then everything outside of you is going to change. And it's a great way to start. It'll make you feel good and it's a fun activity. You know, start looking at some stuff, thinking outside the box. 
But remember, like I said last week, don't set the bar low because you're going to achieve it. Set the bar high. There's nothing you can't have. So thanks for joining me. I hope you do some of this stuff and it makes you feel good. And you start to realize you are just so worthy to have a great year. And I believe this is your year. It's my year too. I'm going to share all my things that I um, manifest this year with you as well. So thanks again. Have a good one. And we'll see you next week. And don't forget how awesome you are. Thanks.